Good morning, guys. It is a cold one this morning. Oh. Anyways, I'm hopping on here real quick. I just wanted to talk about um, alcoholism and the physical and mental allergy. Well, the physical allergy and the mental obsession. Um, so we, as alcoholics, have an allergy to alcohol. We actually do not metabolize alcohol like normal people. Um, we don't break down the acetone, so the acetone buildup actually creates the craving. So once we take one, we can't stop. Um, and our bodies are actually producing, not producing, they're not breaking down, they're not metabolizing the alcohol um, like other people, so that it causes this intense craving. And the more we drink, the more acetone is not broken down, it builds up, it builds up. And so the more we drink, actually, the more we want to drink. If that was the only thing with alcoholism, then the solution would be just not to drink. We wouldn't pick up that first one because we know that we can't stop after one. The, the really problem then lies in the mental obsession because our brains tell us otherwise. It tells us that, no, we can do it differently this time. Or... Um, you know, we'll just drink wine and beer and not the hot stuff, or we'll, we'll, uh, just drink after work or just drink on the weekends or whatever, whatever the, um, you know, the rationale or the, um, manipulation is on our part. So it's that mental obsession. Um, when we're not drinking, we're thinking about the next drink. Um, even while we're drinking, we're thinking about the next drink. So how we're going to get it, um, who we're going to get it from what we're going to get. <laughs> so it's a vicious cycle. Um, either way. So the solution then is dealing with the mental obsession, which is a spiritual solution. And they provide that um, spiritual solution in the 12 steps of Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous. So the solution is a spiritual one. And it doesn't mean that it's a religious one. It doesn't mean that you need to um, find uh, a God necessarily. It's just um, having some kind of connection to a power greater than you, whatever that power may be. It could be the sun. It could be the stars, the universe. Um, there's a lot of things more powerful than us. So, um, But the solution is a spiritual one. The solution is in the 12 steps. It's not necessarily in the halls of AA. That's where we kind of like try to reach out to the newcomers to show them that there's a better way. But the solution is in the 12 steps and working the steps. So I highly suggest if you have a problem with alcohol and you can't stop uh, drinking, um, and then once you drink, you can't stop, then you might want to reach out to someone and ask for help and help to guide you through the 12 steps. I hope this has helped you. Um, please follow me on YouTube, Facebook, Recovery Enthusiast. Um, hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Stay blessed.